10 days between the time you paid and you actually receive some funding back. You actually get paid for it. Uh, that is so important because you want to know how long is something sitting on the shelf or how long is something sitting in your storage or how long is something sitting on uh, the availability to make funds before you actually get it in your hands. And so sometimes that can even help you when you're talking about cash flow, making sure you are managing your inventory. Sometimes we're very aggressive. We're very aggressive and we might put out a whole lot uh, in retrieving our, our our, rep, our inventory, getting our inventory in. And then it is a significant amount of time um, before we are turning a profit, before we are making in revenue on what you've already spent. And so that's one of the reasons why you want to look at velocity. How long does it take between the time you actually extend capital or the time you leverage your credit to purchase something and the time you actually get it back? What is that uh, delay? Um, because it's so important because that impacts your cash flow cycle. How long am I sending it out before it actually comes back to me? And of course, within that cash flow cycle, we recognize that our intention is that what we spend out, we're going to get more than that in the return. 